Here we got four inch sewer line it's running up to the house. And we have our two cleanouts. These are called the buckhorns. And right now we are filling up our stack over there. And we have our holes drilled out right here. One here, one here. And pretty soon we're gonna get some water coming out of them. And on every single riser, that one and all three of those all have a hole in them so that the water uh, it can push the air out so that way, that way the air can be released. And eventually water's gonna come out. Oh. You can hear, we'll get closer to some of these guys. You can hear the air coming out of there. So the thing is, is the water runs from there all the way down into here, and eventually the pipe fills up all the way to its fullest capacity. And then you have these risers that need to relieve air. And that's why you put the screw in the top so that the air can be relieved. And that way you get a full, full test on everything. You can get a full test on every single joint. Otherwise, like you know, that joint right there wouldn't be getting tested. So that is the purpose of putting those screws in the tops. And those screws like end up getting cut off in the end anyway. So it's not a big deal that we have a hole in them. Okay, so here we have our water coming out and we need to top these off. And so we're gonna need to turn off the water before it overflows. It will overflow up there. But we gotta put these screws in. So that's all there is to it. Most of the time that'll hold. So every once in a while, it'll start to leak from right here. But I'd say 95, 98% of the time, it will hold. And then we'll just go to turning the water back on until this overflows up here. There it goes. And that's all there is to it. And we just walk around, make sure there's no leaks.